One of the highest British Army programmes today is the requirement for a mechanised infantry vehicle. Perhaps three to five hundred of these would be required for the new strike brigades. The strike brigades were the British Army capability to project power over a long distance and the heart of those strike brigades will be a wheeled vehicle. This, this is Piranha 5, which is one of the contenders for that requirement. Piranha 5 was developed by General Dynamics European Land Systems MOAG and is the latest in an expanded range of vehicles. So the, what has the 5 got? It's got more volume, more power and more payload, so it can undertake a wider range of roles. It's got a modular armour system, so you can package the armour system to what you want. Some of the older piranhas were amphibious, but today people don't want that requirement. So th this vehicle, if you look, it's fitted with a, a Konsberg uh, remote weapon station, which is armed with a 50 cal machine gun, and it can also be uh, fitted with an anti-tank guided weapon. In the past, you've probably seen this fitted with a Javelin missile, which is used by the British Army in many other countries, but this particular vehicle is armed with two of the latest French MMP missiles, which are now in production, and that perhaps is, is a lower cost. Uh, that missile can engage targets out to a range of about four kilometres. Um, inside, it's got an electronic architecture, and it normally fitted with cameras to provide the crew with situational awareness through 360 degrees. It's also got a lot of additional power, because today people want counter-ID equipment, electronic architecture, air conditioning, remote controlled weapon systems, cameras, radios, all of that sucks up power. So latest vehicles, such as the Piranha 5, do have more power. So the Piranha 5 was developed as a private venture and the Danish Army had a requirement for a new vehicle to replace its M113s. They tested five vehicles from all over the world, tracked in wheels. And at the end of the day, that competition was won by Piranha 5. So the Danish Army are the launch customer of that and they're ordering, have ordered over 300 vehicles. And the first ones came off the production line earlier this year because I was actually there. That will be in a number of versions, including an armoured personnel carrier, another one will be a recovery vehicle, there will also be a, a mortar carrier, the 120mm mortar. So in production, hot production line is existing there. There are, another, there are a number of other potential customers Spain has also selected it and that will replace their BMR 600 series of wheeled vehicles which are now 30 years old and production will be in Spain by General Dynamics European Land Systems, Santa Barbara Systems down at Seville where the Pizarro is already in production. So Piranha 5, a few years ago launched, no sales, today in production for Denmark, first vehicles delivered in about 18 months also selected by Spain, so they see a bright future for Piranha 5, with something like over 12,000 Piranha vehicles have already been built.